to make the stair step scrap afghan. You gather your scraps, sort them according to size. You want to have at least a yard, a little longer than a yard, of your smallest scrap and larger from there. Start out with a chain of eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double crochet into fourth chain from the hook. And in each chain across, double crochet is yarn over and search your hook. Draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two, draw through two, yarn over, search your hook, draw up a loop, draw through two, draw through two. And we're going to have, if I did it right, six stitches across. You're going to have a little piece. Six stitches wide. And you're going to end this off. Okay, for this one, I'm going to end off by uh, with a chain one at the end and then cut the loop. Now, if you're going to do fringing, you want to think about that ahead of time on how long you want your fringes. So, this is about three inches. So, I'm going to try to get all my tails to be the same length because it'll fringe on the end that way. Okay. So this is our first row and our first color. We have one, two, three, four, five, count the chain, is six. Double crochet. Okay, I chose scrap of this variegated yarn for my second color. Now where we're going to attach our second color going to hold it up with their tails to the left and we're going to go into this bottom chain where we have the chain three go into the bottom chain I'll hold it better I'm trying to do it so you can see it like that and I do about a three inch tail draw up a loop Okay, and then since we're making six, six stitches, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then we're going to chain two more for our first double crochet. So every time we add a color, we're going to actually chain eight. And then we go into the fourth chain from the hook, just like we did before. And we're going to double crochet across the chain we just made. Now I work my tail in as I go. You can leave the tail hang and draw it in with a needle later if you want. See, one, two, three, four, five. I have one more to go. I'm going to go into here. This is all part of drawing in the tail. Okay, now, now we're up to where we joined on. So we're going to go into the top chain of the turning chain and make a slip stitch. Okay, after you slip stitch, chain three. Now what we're going to do here is something different. We're going to double crochet in the back loops only. Because if we go through the front, we're going to end up with a parallelogram. So to keep it from going cockeyed, there's two different methods to do. The simplest is just to go into the back loop only, and you'll have a little ridge between each color. Like so, and this will be the little ridge. But the method that I used that worked even better, which this is the method that's in the instructions, but this is what I like to do better, is if you look at your double crochet stitch, there's this little twist. 
If you look at it close, it's a V. Go into that V with your hook and draw up your loop for your double crochet and go in each stitch across like that into the V. The yarn that I used for the first part was a little bulkier. So it's a little harder to get in there. There we go. So you're double crocheting in the top of the V of the double crochet below. And this will keep your stitches from shifting to the right. Do that in each one. Then I chain one to end it off. Try to get my string about the same as the one before it to make a soft fringe. And I just pull it on through. So we have our first color is the solid peach. And our second color and the st second step is variegated. It goes here and here. So we have two steps. 